to me. Tony Khan has a dad whose fucking boat is used for movies when you want the evil billionaire on the on the sea. Yeah. So yeah. like they fucking got it. I and here's the other thing. It seems like Tony Khan wants everyone to be just nice. Hey everyone, I hired you. Great. Let's all have fun. And then when people start to get antsy, he's like, oh man, gotta go to the, the Jags game. They're going to Kansas City. Guess I gotta go play to Kansas City. You're gonna watch the Jags. Oh yeah, he might be in Kansas City this weekend. Huh? But he needs to fucking fire these people. Like they're not, I don't care if they're nice or they send you Christmas cards. They're not fucking good at their jobs. I've said this before and I'll say it again to anyone new listening. My grandma is the greatest fucking person on the face of the earth. She was hired to run Kansas City Chiefs and call offensive plays. She would be fired because she doesn't know how to do it. Like, what the fuck, man? It's so aggravating because WWE, when you watch their shows, it's so flawless and so <clears throat> pristine and great. But then everything else is dog shit that it makes you mad. It's just fuck, man. In your grandma's defense. There's a few times that the coaches of the Kansas City Chiefs can't seem to figure out the play call well, either. But that's this is not a football. Well, podcast. that experiment. Well, that experiment might actually uh, come to fruition if you look at the Indianapolis Colts just hiring a fucking center who's never called the offensive plays yeah. or any as. Well, I think coaches. the Chiefs just told us like, eh, you don't need to run. We'll just <laughs> throw the ball yeah. eighty times and you'll at least get twenty points. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, different podcast, but yeah. yeah. Hey, Tim, let's take yes. a quick pause here. Mm -hmm. Let's clear our throat because mm. it's our favorite time. Oh yes, of the year, of, of the, the show. evening, of the evening. Yes. Mm. So it's right before the main. Right event. Right before the main event, the very first match, right before the main event. So it's time, time for the women. women. Fuck yeah. It wouldn't look good on a shirt because no one would. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the it's women. For the women. <laughs> that's a great shirt. Yeah. That's a great, we might we'll get talk to one. Pro Wrestling Tees. Let's see what happens. Yeah. But in the meantime, you can get your Spanish Announce Table logo shirt at ProWrestlingTees.com slash Spanish Announce Table. There you go. So we get Sky Blue getting squashed by Jamie Hayter here. And it was fine. Yeah. We drove the story of Jamie Hayter gets some victories. She He's looks like. Yeah, the number one contender. Tony Storm walks out because after the match, Sky Blue gets beat up. So we get that. Everything was fine. Nothing to really write home about. Now let's get into the main event. Oh, excuse me. After this, uh, Alex Marvez is backstage, and he's trying to interview Ricky Starks. At this point, he's not. He's just like, hey, listen, sorry, I tried. <laughs> yeah. I tried. But Lance Archer is just beating the shit out of him. They're going to face each other off, yeah. face each other in this uh, tournament. So makes sense why Lance Archer would beat him up. Why is it? I like Lance Archer. I think the presentation, I think the gimmick of everyone's going to die is kind of fun. But you can't beat John Moxley in a Texas death match 11 months ago. Fucking do nothing, then lose to Hangman yeah. in another Texas <clears throat> death match. And then. Do nothing and then beat Lance up Archer Starks. works great in a Hager type role for me, where you're the muscle for somebody, or you're you know you're a one time opponent for the new baby face champion. Because yes, the the presentation is fun, the package is good, he looks scary, he acts scary, but that is the entire depth of all of it, right? There's you know what I nothing would else. Well, you know what I would do, and I liked it how he was first presented when we got to really see him on TV consistently, have him do the bidding of Jake, the snake Roberts, who is the most evil person in pro wrestling on the AW roster of all time. Yeah. Probably Jake, the snake Roberts. Yeah. You know, have him do the, it's the Jake, the snake storyline. Yeah. But when it comes so, to fighting, it's Lance Archer. Well, and with peeling back the curtain, I don't know if he's healthy enough to run the oh, road anymore. That, I uh, think is what uh, it is. So, but, yeah, same thing. Kind of. I think what I was getting at is he's doing the bidding of somebody. Yeah, we need a Bobby the Brain type guy here who's actually feuding with. This is a great guy for a Stokely Hathaway when he doesn't have like the firm, right? 